in this video i'm going to find the general solution of the ode y prime is equals to x squared multiplied by y the first step there i will write that uh, ode in full on that y prime the y prime there is the derivative of y with respect to x so def the derivative of y with respect to x is equals to x squared multiplied by y what you are having there is a first order ode and uh, when you are solving first order ODEs, the easiest method is to use a separation of variables. The first order ODE is said to be separable if we can write it in the form n of y dy is equals to m of x dx. We can put uh, the variables with y on one side, variables with x on the other side. So looking at this equation, we can write it in that form n of y dy is equals to m of x dx. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, the variables with the y on the left hand side, and then those with the x on the right hand side, then go on and integrate. So what we would have there, we'll be having 1 over y multiplied by dy is equals to x squared dx, then integrate both sides. So we'll have the integral of 1 over y with respect to y is equals to the integral of x squared with respect to x. When we integrate on the left hand side there, we'll get ln of the absolute value of y. On the right hand side, we'll get x cubed divided by 3 plus the constant of integration. So the result there is ln of the absolute value of y is equal to x cubed divided by 3 plus uh, the constant of integration c. The next step now is to make y subject of the formula. So we can uh, do that by taking exponents on both sides so that would have y is equals to the exponent of uh, x cubed over 3 plus uh, the constant of integration c. Now looking at uh, this part here, the exponent there, we can simplify that by using the laws of uh, exponents. So we would have the exponent of a plus b is equals to exponent of a times exponent of b. So when you use that law, our equation becomes exponent of x cubed over 3 multiplied by exponent of uh, c, exponent of that constant of integration. So that's the equation that we are having now. But looking at this part there, the exponent of c, the exponent of a constant will just give us another constant. So we can call that constant uh, c1, where the c1 is a real number. Because we are saying the exponent of a constant is a constant, and we are calling that constant c1. Our equation will therefore become c1 multiplied by exponent of x cubed divided by 3. So what we are having there is the general solution of this ODE, y prime is equal to x squared y, is c1 multiplied by exponent of x cubed over 3. So that's the general solution of that given ODE.